Hey guys, it's your girl Jax. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and if you are part of the Jax squad, welcome back. So today, 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 oh, to tell how. today's tutorial is all about this pink, really girly vibe. I don't think I've ever done like a pink cut crease eye with a pink lip. So this is really exciting. I've always wanted to do like a really pink inspired look. Can you hear my kids in the background? I apologize. But if you guys want to learn how to achieve this look, then please keep on watching. Let's go. So I just got my hair done right before I filmed this look, so that's why I am currently stained everywhere. It's just fantastic. So prepping my HD skin and notice that quality. Pew pew! Lula Henriksen's Banner Bright Eye Cream. You guys know I love this product. Just really hydrates my under eyes and helps my concealer sit that much nicer. Now going in with my favourite everyday serum. This is by Ulla Henriksen. This is the Truth Serum. It just patting that into my skin. And just finishing off my prep with Ulla Henriksen Sea Rush Gel Cream. It's super moisturising. It absorbs so quickly and I just love it as a primer. Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow in the shade 4. This has been my go-to brow product lately. I've been using it every day. As always, I start off with the tail end of the brow, creating my shape, then filling in, concentrating that product in the tail section of the brow, then I lightly feather in some hair-like strokes at the beginning of the brow. I'm going in with NARS Soft Matte Concealer and a concealer brush, cleaning up under the brow as well as all over my lid. This will work as my eyeshadow base. Once applied with the brush, I then go in with my finger just to make sure it's blended evenly. I'm so happy to be collabing with Marc Jacobs Beauty for this video. I'm using their Provocateur palette. I've been obsessed with pinks lately and it's so hard to find vibrant eyeshadows with little to no fallout that are so pigmented but blend out like a dream. And I find all of Marc Jacobs eyeshadows do all of the above. Seriously, you guys need to go and try these eyeshadows. I'm going in with the shade In Bed with a fluffy brush using circular motions going straight into my socket and I slowly want to build the colour there and blend as I go. Now taking my favourite cut crease brush, which is actually a lip brush by Zoeva, using the same concealer I used as an eye base to cut my crease, literally using my eyeball as a guide. Now placing this gorgeous shimmer eyeshadow called Say It and patting this all over that concealer we just placed with a flat eyeshadow brush. Now going back with that fluffy brush and that shade in bed, I'm just going to blend out the edge. Now taking the darkest shade as well, no like legit it's called as well, I'm adding this to the outer part of my eyes, this will just add drama and definition. Now I'm just going to add the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops on the high points of my face. Beware, a little goes such a long way. Um, this will just add an inner glow to my base. And I thought I'd bring this bad boy out. Mate, it's been a while. Um, I'm using Fenty Pro Filter in the shade 240. After this video, I have fallen in love all over again. I just love this full coverage, skin-like finish. Just love that for me. Trying out these two new concealers for the first time. These are the Bendy Avocado Concealers by First Aid Beauty in the shades 2 and 4. I literally don't know where avocado comes in this concealer like I love it on my toast but apparently I love it under my eyes as well um I am obsessed with it I love the coverage the consistency it almost is similar to the NARS radiant creamy concealers Another new product that I'm loving at the moment is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just using my damp beauty blender to apply that. I just keep pouncing until the powder disappears. That's when I know it's locked in, it's in my skin, and nothing is going to move or budge. I'm contouring my face with my favourite contour palette ever in my life. This is the Tan to Dark Bare Minerals Contour Palette. Using the darkest shade in the hollows of my cheeks and perimeters of my face, and the middle shade to blend out and as bronzer. Now going in with Anastasia's Blush Trio in the shade Peachy Love. This is my favourite out of all of her blush trios. This is the perfect peach blush. And now finishing off the eye with the shade In Bed and as well just smoking my bottom lash line. As well as the shade Say It as an inner kind of highlight. 
Now for mascara, I'm using my favorite mascara. You guys already know it's Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. It is the best mascara hands down. I just find because of its curvy brush, it just really coats every single lash and just gives me major volume. My good friend Jar, most of you know her as Makeup With Jar, who is the best makeup artist in the whole entire world. She's obsessed with this highlight, and so because Jar uses this highlight, that means I use this highlight. This is by Jello and Inglot. This is called Live in the Highlight. It is so pigmented, it is so bomb, it really gives you that wet skin J-Lo glow. I really wanted to pair this eye with a subtle pink lip, so I'm using Marc Beauty's La Marc Lip Cream in the shade Infamous and Bite Beauty's French Pressed Lip Gloss in the shade Vanilla Latte. This smells like coffee and it's amazing. And that concludes the tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look. If you have, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah. Leave a comment. I want to like chat to you guys. Also, I really hope you guys like my new setup, my new backdrop. I'm still trying to like suss out the lighting. I kind of still don't know what I'm doing to be completely honest. Hopefully as time progresses, I'll get a bit better. But let me know if you guys like the better, the better. Oh my God, I hang around jar too much. Let me know if you guys like the better quality. No, you can see every single pore, which is like a little bit, a little bit full on, but I am here for it. Does that kind of make sense? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all of my socials so you guys can like keep up to date with my everything. Thanks again and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.